Okay, I just realized something pretty cool. And honestly, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I've never noticed this before. Now, you might have one of these. Uh, if you were younger and had a magic kit, there's probably something similar to this in there. So it's a little vase, and inside is a ball. Now, the basic handling of the trick was uh, you took the ball, you caused it to vanish, and it would reappear inside the vase. So that was the basic trick. What I didn't realize was there were more instructions on the back of the piece of paper. So you could do the, the basic trick where the ball vanishes and it appears back in, in the vase. But you could also do it in reverse where you take the ball and cause it to come out of the vase. But there was a third phase and this is what I missed. So you could take the ball, make it vanish, and have it reappear inside the vase. But then you could snap twice, cause the ball to change to a clear ball. Actually, this looks kind of familiar. Well, anyway, you could keep going, snap twice again, produce another clear ball. You know what? I know where these are from. Uh, have I ever showed you this trick? Uh, this is something my grandmother invented. Uh, it uses three clear beads and two pieces of yarn. But I'll, I'll show you that later. But um, go home, look in your old magic stuff, pull out that ball and vase, and uh, make sure to read the full sheet of instruction. I had no idea it could do all that. Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me again. Uh, today, I wanna take a look at the Barallel Vase from TCC Magic. Now this is a, a beautiful prop. Uh, I didn't have any feeling one way or another uh, before I took a look at it. But now that I've played with it, I really like it. There's just one uh, big downfall. So like I said, it's a beautiful looking prop. Uh, what you get in the box, uh, there's a sleeve, uh, cardboard sleeve around a much nicer box that's really uh, sturdy. You could actually store the ball and vase in, in this box uh, because it's just sitting in there in foam. So it's easy to get in and out. You can just store it in this box to protect it because it is made of nice wood. Uh, everything you need is on the exterior of the sleeve here for the tutorial. And uh, let's take a closer look. So inside this box, uh, this is just cardboard, but it's wrapped in paper and it's super thick and might as well be plastic. Uh, the vase comes uh, encased in uh, a very dense foam there. So like I said, you can just keep it in there when you're not using it and it's easy to take in and out of there. So. If you look at the trailer from TCC, which I will put in the description of this video, uh, I'm not revealing anything here that isn't revealed by uh, TCC themselves. So it's a standard uh, ball and vase gimmick. I love the ball. It's this nice leather uh, stitched in a baseball pattern, uh, but it has a nice weight to it. It's, it's not just cork. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, maybe it's a hard rubber ball, but it, it has a, a good weight to it, which, which makes a lot of vanish moves uh, really easy to execute. If the ball's too light, I, find, I always find that irritating, that I, I can't get a handle of it. So this, the ball feels really nice uh, right off the bat. And then you, like I said, it's the standard ball and vase gimmick. Uh, the advantage to all of this is that the vase portion, the body of it, is symmetrical. So it looks the same whether it's upside down or right side up. Which brings me to the next part. Uh, there's a kicker ending. So this allows you to do the standard ball and vase uh, routine or your variation. And then to add a kicker ending where the bottom comes off and there's another cavity there and they've hollowed it out such that it could hold a another ball a different colored ball 
like I shared in my performance, the beads from uh, Grandma's Miracle. <laughs> they just happen to fit so nicely in there. Uh, you have to put the flat part upwards so that uh, the cover will be flush. But I just thought, ah, oh, what a nice coincidence there. You could transition right into Grandma's Miracle. Uh, in the trailer, they show a coin load. So you could take four coins. They fit right in there. And this could be your, your surprise load. And then you move on to some coin tricks. So as far as the build quality, uh, it's excellent. Uh, this is a, I believe it's ebony. It's, it's a beautiful looking prop. I, I talked about the ball already, a nice weight to it. Everything looks beautiful about it. Uh, I even like the, the understated profile to this. So if you're comparing this to anything, it would be untrammeled. Uh, released by TCC earlier on, which it was a another wooden ball and vase gimmick, but that had a more ornate profile to it, uh, which might be your taste. But I, I kind of prefer this more simple design and the fact that you have this, this kicker ending uh, built into this. So the decision you'll have to make is what suits your style more, the untrammeled, ball and vase or the parallel ball and vase because a lot can be accomplished with just sleight of hand so if you're using the untrammeled ball and vase you might be able to handle these surprise endings uh, and just with sleight of hand so the advantage here is it's built in and it's all one piece and uh, it's very much a similar beautiful looking prop made out of wood. My one complaint about this, and it may bother some people, it may not. Uh, to accomplish all of this, there's magnets involved that are quite visible. And in the trailer, uh, they're not so visible. And so what I did was I took a black Sharpie marker and I kind of colored over them and I'll get a close-up on this for you. So on each section of the gimmick, there are four uh, tiny magnets, but they are, they're not painted, they're not covered in any way. You can just clearly see them. And so I took just a black Sharpie marker and colored directly on those, which helped a lot. You can still see there's four metal dots on there and i've been performing this casually uh, right now just for a few family members and no one's called it out uh, part of that i think is due to my pacing of the routine uh, i pretty much am following uh, jay wang's routine which by the way is just nicely constructed there's some nice uh uh, faints and, and just some nice thinking put into that. So I generally followed uh, the tutorial and I, I kind of made it a fast pace uh, with the storyline and everything. So maybe, maybe they did notice it and just didn't think anything of it. Maybe they didn't notice it, uh, but I didn't ask, you know, how do you think it works or anything like that? I like that TCC is taking these classic effects, upgrading the materials, and then going beyond that to add a new thing to it. Now, I just wish the magnets were best case scenario that they were covered with maybe a veneer. So they were completely under the surface of another thin piece of wood or at the very least that they were permanently colored over uh, so that they're not shining. And maybe that would you know, help them go unnoticed more. But despite all that, uh, 
as I've been playing with this and handling it, it's just a fun prop and it, it looks good and it's an interesting prop. It's well made and uh, the price is $80. So this was part of a Kickstarter package and it, they listed it as $80 and then the Kickstarter price was a little bit cheaper if you were a backer. And then this is not yet released on the website, but it will be. So the final word on this, I like it. Uh, like I said, it's about a nine out of 10 because of those magnets. But I mean, this is something I will be using. It's, it's not for walk around, but it's for that nice occasion when you do have a table, uh, maybe you have people over and it's, it's a nice little interesting piece of magic. And like I said, it's, it's something that is probably familiar to people. If they didn't have one, they probably had seen one, the little plastic ones. And I love tricks that play off the assumptions of people and where you can surprise them with, even, even if they've seen the trick, they haven't seen the one kicker ending, but this has two kicker endings. So it's, it's certainly going to knock the socks off. Uh, a normal person that's familiar with the plastic ones and $80 is a, it's a chunk of money but I mean you look at untrammeled for double the price for something you you won't use you know daily certainly but I mean it, it could also appeal to those collectors out there and I think uh, TCC is going in that direction where they're upgrading these props with these materials, these nicer materials, leather and wood and such. It's, it's bordering on uh, being a collector's piece and being a, a, a true, you know, working prop that's fun to use. It feels good to handle it. So I think it's worth the price, but is it worth it to you? Uh, that's for you to decide. So that's it for today's video. I just thought I would show all of you this uh, for those of you who might be interested and looking for something different. Now I'm a coin guy, but I'm always trying to expand my, my repertoire, whether it's a, a classic piece like this or a weird, interesting prop. Uh, it's always good to, to stretch your abilities out. And I think this is a good place to start. So, so that's it for now, but I do have uh, one more TCC product that I'll be reviewing soon. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.